Miles is never happy to go to school. He feels like things will never change, but something will soon take a turn for the worse. Everyone take out your books and read the assigned pages. Miles can't get anyone in first hour to talk, but second hour is a different story. Take out your books. While at dinner, Miles tells Miss McGee that he is scheduling a doctor's appointment because he has been feeling sick the past few days. What I Wish by Beverly Bingham. Bingham's on the bad battle. If that phrase reminds you of Browning's Bingham on the Rhine and all the romance that goes with it, forget it. Bingham's on the bad battle is where I live, and it's a dump. Our buildings are falling down. Rust from our dozen old cars has been seeping into the ground for so many years. Our drinking water tastes like metal. The cars are there from the days when my dad was around. My dad was fascinated by cars, by everything that worked mechanically. He made a study of machinery without ever learning anything. I wish my dad had had a normal sort of life, and I wish my mother was normal, and I wish I knew where my sister was, and I wish I lived in a house where the birds didn't fly around upstairs. And I wish I knew what was going to happen to me in the future. Please help me, Mr. Pruitt. Don't tell me I'm falling in love with the bone woman's daughter. Why am I so dependent on seeing you? My life is so screwed up. It's just a phase. Well, I hope it's just a phase, and I just wanted to see you because you have all your stuff together. All you need to do is apply for college. You're smart enough and could get a scholarship, then work in the summers. But what about my mom? Have her see a doctor. Do you have to get home soon? I have to grade some more what I wish papers. You know what I wish? I wish you and me could be in love with each other. You would break Greg's heart. Mr. Pruitt, is there any chance you'll ever fall in love with me? Well, you see, <clears throat> I was wondering if Miles was here so he could read my paper. I'm afraid he's upstairs laying down. He's been having some teeth problems. <laughs> well, could I please, please see him, Miss Um, well, <sighs> I suppose. Would you like some nectar while I go get him? Thanks. Not everyone has had this happen in their life, but when you do, it is a struggle to go through daily things. Find out what happens in the book Staggerford and purchase it at your local bookstore. Blame Beverly Bingham, J.C. Gertie, Miles Pruitt, Thomas Bombeck, oh, McGee, Chris doing really good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Narration by Brock Fitzpatrick. <laughs> that, thing is, that thing is like making babies or something. <laughs>